Lesson 1. Creating a new project. Hello and welcome. My name is Alexander. This video is for those who want to learn or are just starting to work with the KNX Smart Home system. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new project in ETS 5. To do this, after you have opened the ETS 5 program, go to the Projects tab and click on the New Project button. After that, in the pop-up menu, you must specify the name of the project and the type of the main bus. This is the bus that will unite all the main lines of our project. The default bus type is IP. Buses can be connected via an IP network using KNXnet IP routers or using the KNX TP line couplers. The abbreviation TP stands for Twisted Pair. We'll use the TP bus type because this project will be small and it is more reliable to use the TP connection type. The TP type of bus is more appropriate to use in large projects or in projects that combine several buildings with smart home automation. The TP bus type is best used in smaller projects, for example apartment or cottages, to increase the liability of the entire installation. Since the smaller the number of types of data transmission media and number of the different gateways, the higher the fault tolerance of the system. The fault tolerance of the system increases with the reduction of data transmission media and number of the different gateways. In the topology section, the create LAN WAN.1 checkbox can be left untouched. We will use the line 11 in this project. We will use KNX devices interconnected by a twisted pair, therefore we also set the TP line type. The KNX standard describes free transmission media TP, twisted pair, PL, power line, which means data transmission over the power grid, but in practice no one has made such devices, and RF stands for the radio frequency signal transmission. These devices communicate in a wireless environment. And the last item of this menu, group addresses display style. A group addresses in the KNX system is a variable that conveys the value of the function it performs. For example, turn on off the lights is a function that can only have two states. Here you need to choose a free-level display style, more familiar to everyone. We also find the free-level display style to be the most convenient, so we simply recommend using it. After checking on the Create Project button, we'll get the Building window. We'll tell you more about the windows in the ETS program in the following videos. Let's return to the ETS tab, where we will tell a few more words about the properties of the project. Click on the project name. A panel with project data will appear on the right and details tab will open. In this tab you can change the name of the project and specify the project number. This is very convenient if the company numbers the project. Also in this tab, if necessary, you can specify the contract number with the client. You can also change the project start date here. By default, the project start date is a project creation date. Also, you can set a project end date. Setting an estimated end date for the project can be useful for the installer when it is necessary to quickly remember the expiration dates of the warranty obligations if a warranty claim has been received from the client. Below the end date of the project, you can specify the status of the project. At what stage is the project at the moment? The following status are available at the pop-up list. In the time date is simply the absence of any particular status. Editing means that the project is still in progress. Status already designed means that the editing of the project is completed and you can start debugging. Commissioning complete is when programs have already been downloaded to all devices, but debugging has not yet completed. Tested. This status can be set when startup and adjustment works are completed. Since so accepted, the work is completed and handed over to the customer. And the locked status can be set when the project is sent to the archive and work with it is not planned in the foreseeable future. Window comment. You can leave a comment about this project in it. For example, with what section of the control system the work was performed in the project. You can write down, for example, lighting, blinds and heating. All this information is not for informational purposes only and does not affect any settings. In the upper right part of the window, there is a place to set the password and the key of the BCU. 
In the password field, you can enter a password for the project. In this case, when you try to open the project, the program will require you to enter the password. The project password is required to support the new secure function, data encryption of KNX Telegram transmissions. The secure feature was added by the KNX Association last year to increase the security of the control system. To date, equipment manufacturers are just beginning to introduce secure technology into their devices. Not all devices support it yet. LAN connections, USB and IP gateways mainly support secure technology. The BCUK is designed to block the download of application programs to devices. This is a key in the hexademical format and can be up to 8 digits long. We strongly do not recommend to use it. Because the loss of this key can have very serious consequences for the both the installer and customer. If the BCUK is written to the device and subsequently lost, this can happen with the most projects after some time. Then the device can only be unlocked by sending it to the manufacturer, which is extremely unprofitable. Or if when the installer, for example, stopped doing installations and did not give the key to his customer. In this case, it will be impossible to maintain the equipment installed in the facility and the customer will be in stalemate. The encoding field allows you to change the symbolic encoding. The Windows system language encoding is set by default. This encoding is the most suitable and you do not need to change it. Most devices will display the characters correctly, if they support the selected language at all. Here you can change the display style or the group addresses, if an unsuitable addresses was selected during project creation. Below the compatibility settings. Hide extended group addresses range for plugins. Use slow communication with the system bus. The settings can also be left default. There are a number of older devices on the KNX market that require you to switch the ETS5 to compatibility mode. You can perform this switch by clicking on the Applications menu in the lower right corner of the window under the ETS tab. And in the application menu pop-up window, check the box next to Compatibility Mode app. ETS will ask for permission to restart, and after restarting, ETS will start to work in Compatibility Mode. On the next tab of the Product Parameters Protection Secure, you can add a device certificate or data transfer you want to encrypt. There are two easy ways to do this. The first is to scan the device's QR code. The second is to enter the device encryption key manually. It is also possible to export encryption keys for all devices in the project, as well as individual selected devices. Next step – Project Log. Here you can keep some notes in the processes of executing of setting up project and leave comments. We will now add a comment that changes need to be made in the air conditioning section of the touch panels. Also, you can edit, delete records, print or delete the entire logs list. And the last tab is project files. You can add this section any files that you will use in the projects. For example, you can upload project documentation for this section for principle of uploading files is almost the same as adding files to an archive. Now let's go back to the project tab. There are two more important buttons here – export and import of the project. Project export is necessary to transfer to the project file to any other computers or just to save it. It is necessary to export the project from time to time just in case as backup. The ETS program always keeps the latest changes and even if there was some serious error or the computer rebooted at the most inopportune moment, all changes will be restored automatically after you reopen the project. And the last thing we will talk about in this lesson is returning to a restore point and archiving the project. While working with the project, the ETS5 program creates restore points that you can return to later using this option. To archive a project, you need to right-click on the project and in the pop-up window select the Send option and then select Archive. This option can be used when the work on the project is fully completed and all work has been handed over to the customer. We hope you find this video helpful. This 
we bid you farewell. Watch our videos, press likes and leave comments. Always try to do your job well. See you, friends.